Winning a Kate Award is actually the most amazing thing that has happened to um, myself and my colleagues um, working in um, the HE environment. What we've discovered is that each of us has our own little network of um, colleagues externally and internally to the university and the number of people who've come to us and said we didn't know you did that, we didn't know what work you do and it's really made a big network for us outside of the network that we already had and I think as a team every player in a team does their little bit and each individual person might not think well that's not good enough for an award but being able to have an award that means each of us like a piece in a jigsaw can put our picture together has been able to let us shine in an environment where sometimes that kind of thing doesn't actually get in any way recognised. I think at the moment in the um, higher education sector Everybody is very focused on teaching excellence and the teaching excellence framework. But I think teaching excellence is one of those things that you, you recognise it when you experience it and you recognise it when you see it. But it's very difficult to describe what it is. And I think to have an award which is externally looked at and um, assessed and people's work is is um, evaluated and then an external person or group or panel is saying that's teaching excellence then I think that's important because sometimes particularly people can be very self-effacing and they don't recognize themselves when what they're doing is excellent if it's what they do just as a what they would consider their ordinary job but when somebody else turns around and says no that is teaching excellence then I think that's um, something that is in itself really appreciated within the sector. I think for anybody who's applying for a Teaching Excellence Award, Kate or NTF, the most important thing is to actually reflect on your own practice and go back along your journey of teaching and almost like a narrative, discover yourself, discover how you got to where you are and then some of the things that you might think are ordinary and somebody else might not consider that. So then at the end of the day, identify who you are, how you teach, how you actually have influence within teaching, both on students but also with colleagues. And then most importantly, show impact. Because it's great to have people say, oh, you're really good and that's fantastic. But that is a very subjective thing. So if you can have anything that actually shows you've had impact on a particular number of people or you've changed something in somebody's life and it's because whether it's um, somebody's teaching practice or whether it's a student and the effect that your teaching has had on them, then that itself is impact and that's something that we can see as value. It is important to build on impact because once it's like a staircase, once you've got to a certain step you can look back but actually it's also important to think well where can I go ahead of me and who can I take with me? So if um, by disseminating what my team intends to do we want to share how we've worked as a team. It doesn't really matter the area that we worked in, it's how we worked as a team and how we brought together, in our case, um, interdisciplinary things, but every team has their own sort of brand mark about what it is about what they do. But then to show people that that model of working as a team is something that others can adopt and be successful and support each other, because support is really important, I think, in higher education.